Nice, I'm glad you guys are here. So episode two of my YouTube channel. First off, I wanted to thank everybody who subscribed. The feedback was insane. I was so excited reading it. There were so many questions about other businesses that we do. What do we also do besides, you know, selling all this crazy real estate like this $45 million house we're about to walk into? And so that's what I'm gonna show you today. We're gonna take a journey in here. We're gonna show you uh, videos that I'm recording in here with my wife, Heather, and with my brother, Matt. Later on, it's gonna be super cool. We're gonna go to a buddy of mine's podcast that he invited me on. We're gonna, that's a totally different game. So if you're not into the whole real estate thing, don't worry, you're gonna uh, appreciate that as well. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh yeah, we're gonna see, of course, because it's my YouTube channel, there's gotta be crazy real estate on there, always. I see the craziest real estate in the world, and I'm bringing you with me. Um, what else can I tell you? Thank you for subscribing. Keep the comments going. I'm telling you, I read every single one of them. If you don't believe me, ask my wife. <laughs> All right, come on in. Actually, I'll take you on in because I love doing this. So I'm going to do this. I'll take you on inside. Um, this I'm going to do for probably about two hours. It's super early in the morning right now because this is a time when my phone is still not ringing like crazy. But welcome to the next episode, episode two, YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe. And, uh, well, here, I can't hold all this, so thanks. Yo. <laughs> Look at Matt. I don't even know, I don't even know what to say here. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, the backpack thing. Unfiltered, unedited. We're giving you guys the real crazy Altmans. Uh, so, <laughs> welcome to our world. I warned you. <laughs> So we're about to drop some knowledge. It's gonna be for rock star real estate agents or agents who wanna be rock star real estate agents. We are putting together something really special which I'm super excited about. We have been working well over a year on this entire course uh, and we're launching in about a month. We're just doing our finishing touches uh, and I mean, Matt, Heather and I have been writing all of this material. This is all straight from our brains uh, to give to the world. But once you have the basic infrastructure for your digital marketing, it can be pretty cost efficient. I have to whisper because Josh is talking. We don't want to take away from them. We'll be on screen. That's my so life. Watch. Okay. Effective contingency management is not just waiting for the deadline, picking up the phone and saying, how did everything go? Is your general contractor going to be on site? Is the environmental inspector coming today? When competing for business, is the Comprehensive Market Analysis, or the CMA. The first rule in this course is sell value. All right, that's it. So you got to see another one of our businesses that I'm very, very excited about coming out soon. Um, now I'm gonna change because I have a feeling that whatever I eat today is gonna get on my suit, so I'm gonna change it to another suit because I gotta be back in this later. Oh, this is what my trunk looks like typically. Construction sites, I always have extra sneakers to wear so I don't mess up the shoes. Always have a couple extra pair of Gucci shoes in it if I gotta change my suits. We got, uh, you know, hair stuff, face stuff, just in case. Oh, and, and extra suits and ties. You know, my Stefano Ricci ties. These are the best, best ties in the world. Um, okay, so I'm gonna change suits. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, so as I told you on this YouTube channel, I'm gonna show you the coolest real estate in the world, but I'm also gonna show you stuff that you've never seen before. It's my buddy Sam's listing, very dear friend of mine. It's like 35 million. Wait till I show you what's in this listing. He doesn't even know I'm coming, come on. <laughs> I, I saw him setting up as I was showing my other listing down there. Watch this. I've done this to him before, by the way. He's got no idea why I'm here right now. What are you doing, Sam? <laughs> what are you fucking doing? I saw you setting up. Are you fucking I, showing my house? I love you, bro. What's, What's up? up? How, How are, are you? It's good to see you. Guys, this is my very dear friend, killer real estate agent, Sam Real. What's up, dude? This is an unbelievable house, but you know I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you want to show it. I know, I know. I he wants it. to show it. Everyone wants to see it. Come no, on. <laughs> Come on. This guy's the only one that gets to see it. All right, show it. You guys ready? Sam, wait, wait, wait. Sam, what are we about to see? 
first ever open air shark tank that you can sit in. Oh. Entire room. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah. First open air shark tank. Go ahead. He shark. loves to do this. Shark. Stingray. Shark. Stingray. I'm not kidding. We are in a house right now, and this is a giant shark tank. Wait, if I put my toes in here, are they gonna bite? They're gonna fucking bite you for sure. <laughs> they, they, they. So those are hound sharks. You got two hound sharks, two Lamora sharks, seven Cortez stingrays, three yellow tangs, a mimic, and a grouper. Whoever buys this house gets a two-year membership on NetJets. With the house. Come on. If you buy the house. That's it. Yeah. All right. You get sharks. You get sharks. You get net jet memberships for two years. Two years. But here's what I want to know, and I think everybody else wants to know. Yeah. What does the agent get? How many hours on net jets do this? Do you get a commission. You get absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, else. come on. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, Sam's going to tell you because I assume I know what it is, but go for it. It's a current pool, so that's a machine that you actually swim against the current. So if you really do want to be Michael Phelps, here's your chance. And it's not like slowly, that is a high powered. Mechanism. Oh, yeah. You got a little diving board here for your pool. It's nice. Yeah. It is nice. It's not like your view, but you got a bigger freaking pool. So quick rundown, you have 12,800 square feet. It was designed by a husband and wife couple that are disciples of Frank Geary. Uh, top, top of the line finishes all throughout. The house comes with all the furniture, which is Minoti custom made for the house for that for those of you that don't know what that is it's expensive it's expensive but what's cool about this house that you don't see it is that it has an aroma 360 system so if you smell you go through the house you smell all the different fragrances that's actually through the filtration system of the air that's super unique that's super unique. See, i thought that was your cologne wait I'm you not gonna lie. wait you think that that's cool you have a fiji water same exact filtration system that fiji water uses for their water in this house, your toilet water, your sink water, your shower water, all of it, you can drink it. So all right, well listen, I'm just saying. When you're a dog like channel. Josh, when Heather gets pissed <laughs> off at Josh, you know where he's drinking out of, the toilet. So you're telling me, <laughs> I just wanna get this straight for the record right now, because we are on my YouTube channel. Yes. You're telling me there's Fiji water in the toilet. I mean, it's not Fiji I just wanna get this right. water, but yeah, you can drink it. Go drink it. I'll give you, will you $100. Drink it? Will, it, will you drink it? to prove to the world that there is Fiji water. I think you should. It's your, I, it will it's be a first, it will be awesome. My, my your, viewers will really- It's your channel. <laughs> it's your channel. I think it'd be a good idea. That's right. This is, uh, this is how I get the perfect fade, the perfect fade in my hair uh, for all my showings. This is my guy right here. This is Carlos. Carlos has been- uh, That's how we stay fresh. That's it. Carlos has been cutting my hair for years now. And you know why I like Carlos? I, mean, I like Carlos because have you seen Carlos's haircut briefcase? Oh. <laughs> he, he's all about presentation. That's it. There you go. Wow. Actually, you hear that? That's it. All about that presentation. Even my barber knows the Alden way of life. It's all about presentation, man. You, you gotta look sharp when I'm showing these houses. Uh huh. I gotta look like multi-million dollar guy. I gotta go film a podcast next. Okay. Um, the guy Drama, who he owns Young and Reckless Clothing. Um, he's got a, a podcast called uh, Short Story Long. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna head over there in about 30 minutes. Talk about my story, how I got to where I am, that whole thing. It goes out to a few million people. It's good exposure. I like. That. I feel like that's kind of my way of giving back to people. You know, if it motivates one person out of that three million and get makes them do, your job. do their thing, then that's mm -hmm. cool. It makes me feel good. You know. You're so grown up. You're so grown up now, Lexi. You don't even need me to feed you anymore. Here you go. No? Oh, you want to feed yourself because you're such a grown-up now? Can Dad have some? Mm. Thanks, Lexi. These little moments make everything worth it. Non-stop, 24-7, deal after deal, hustling. I do it for this, just for these little moments. That's what motivates me. You know, I always talk about this on stage when I'm, I'm, I'm lecturing with my keynotes. Mm, Dad, Dad, is you gotta find out what motivates you.
You know, what is your what is your special thing? You know, what's your moment that you work hard for? And go after that. And do it so you can have those moments because this is what life's all about. I wish you guys luck with it. And I didn't even know what this was like, obviously, because I never had a kid before. But <gasps> makes everything worth it. <laughs> Cut. That's one of my listings past that gate down there for $10 million. But what I'm about to show you right now is something very special to me and there's a reason why uh, we're driving by it. I drive by it a lot and it always actually brings me back down to, to you know, my roots and, and the start of my whole real estate career. The reason why this is so important to me is because this is the first deal I ever did. The first deal I ever did out of the three plus billion that I've sold. The reason why I wanted to make a quick stop here was because of this behind me. Uh, you guys now see a $25 million house. The reason why this is so special to me is because this was the first deal that I ever closed in my career. And it was a piece of land and it was $1.6 million and I remember every single piece of that deal. And the reason why I remember it was because I didn't close a deal in the first six months of being a real estate agent. I needed money like I needed air. And that first deal finally came and I can, I, I just remember the moment when I got the check from the office manager and I looked at my brother and I said, it's on. And the reason I'm telling you this story is because once I closed this, then I closed another and I kept at it and I used every one of those failures in the first six months as learning experiences. And I got to where I am today from this $1.6 million deal to selling over $3 billion worth of real estate. And I'm telling you that because there's gonna be a time in your career, there might be a time right now where you are failing where you feel like shit, where you don't know that uh, you're gonna come out of whatever slump you're in. And I can tell you this, if you love what you're doing and you work hard and you keep at it and you learn from your mistakes, you are going to get past it. And when you do, I'm telling you, it's the greatest fucking feeling in the world. So I'm not here to like lecture you, but this, this is special to me. And that's my story. Yeah, I talked with her. She, look, she wants to get the deal done. She's super nice, and so we'll see. We'll see if we can get it done, but at least we got something in writing, which is, you know, it's our first real offer. Oh, okay. Come on. He's my hero. Oh, you're not my hero. Come on. All right. All right. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. All right, kiddo. We're about to go on a podcast. Short story long. Uh, this will be fun, actually. You guys will get to hear my story some motivational stories that I talk about, and uh, yeah, let's go have some fun, huh? Bro, I'm busy, Josh. Nice you're you, making man. this happen. Absolutely. And for a long time, I've gotten a lot of uh, a lot of requests to have you on the show. Really? For a long time, yeah. All right, who told him to say that? There you go, man, your army is strong. He doesn't, you, really? Yeah, I like 100%, that. I'm telling you, like, because I always ask, and there's a handful, like, you know, you'd expect Gary V, which he yeah, came on. Yeah, and yeah. In my life, every time I was knocked down, it was more about how I bounce back than worrying about what knocked me down and what I learned from that. It's all about just being being comfortable with who you are and being yourself and, and, and not worrying about what other people think. Like, I, listen, I've sold more celebrities than I can count. It doesn't matter to me. Like, those aren't my favorite deals because I, I treat them like anybody. Yeah. You know, the favorite deals are the special deals, like the first deal I ever closed or, or the biggest deal I ever closed or, or the one where, uh, you know, I gave half of it to charity or whatever it is. Like, there's special deals throughout my career that either elevated my game or made me better as a person. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I always say, you gotta look like you can afford the house that you're trying to sell. Yeah. Go. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I like the name. Who came up with that? Me. Yeah. You wonder know what I do is whenever I'm uh, like rambling, I always say, long story short, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So this is like your chance to ramble. I like it. Short story long, brother, man. Yeah, yeah that was fun. That, that was, was fun. Really good. Ready? All right. Well, that's it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys hanging. That was uh, short story long with drama. Had a blast. And, and the reason why I like doing that type of stuff is because I like when people get to hear my story from where I started to where I got to today. Um, I think it's important. I think it's important for people to realize that anybody can do what I'm doing. Uh, so hearing the backstory is, is really the backbone of, of who I am. And you know, people can, 
people can go create it themselves. And uh, if one person who listens to that, it changes their life, then that was worth it. There you go. Um, anyways, I got a showing right now. You guys cannot come to this. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning and uh, we'll go from there.